Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna clean the glass. It looks absolutely disgusting. Um, it's winter, no one's coming around, but I just can't live with it being that dirty. It's gonna be freezing. Um, also coming up, I'm gonna strip a few females. Yep guys, so I reckon it's about 10 degrees. It is freezing. No doubt I'll miss a spot. Oh, the hand feels like it's going to fall off. Alright guys, you can see how much better that looks now. Um, I've been putting it off because, yeah, that was really cold. Um, unfortunately, one of the things about having glass windows in a pond is keeping the glass clean. Um, I have a rule. Uh, no broom within 20 centimetres of the glass for scratch reasons. I just, I don't put anything in that little ridge there at all. Um, that's my biggest fear is the bottom of that glass getting kicked and ruined. And also a broom would quickly leave a scratch straight across the bottom there. I just use normal um, filter sponge. Comes off pretty easy. Alright, we'll head into the fish room now. Okay guys, so I've made a bit of a station here to strip some females. Hopefully you can hear me well and I hope that you can see well enough. I've just cut a blue bucket down nice and thin. My main goal here is to try and make this as viewable as possible, if that makes sense. Alright, so I'll get started. So we've got our first fish here. It's um, a female Alunacara Code Blue. Silverfish. Um, so just, I've got this little, it's like a bread tie. It's got a little loop on it. I'll just catch the fish. open her mouth and I just with my fingers it's a bit hard with my fingers I try push water through their gills and then there's the babies alright so then I get a four mil line I suck on the line to get a siphon going and I've got my egg tumblers here I hold that in there off onto the ground, we don't want the water on the table and then I just suck the babies up with the airline and then make sure you hold the airline straight up and get everything out of it. You don't want to leave eggs in the airline. So then there you can see the babies are in the tumbler. All right guys, so I've gone to get a bit of more close up video for you. <clears throat> and this female has decided to spit the babies out. So um, we'll just see if there's any more in here. So you see, I just get that hook on her lip. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a couple more come out. Uh, that's about it. So if you actually look at these guys, so they're free swimmers. Um, this is the stage that I prefer to strip them. It's much easier, they don't have to go in a tumble off, but it doesn't always happen this way. Um, I'm not that great at remembering who's holding for when. 
because I've got so many fish, it does get a bit confusing. Alright guys, so next up is Labidochromus nicali. Once again, don't judge me my, my pronunciation. Um, I've lifted the bucket up a little bit, see if we can get a better view. I'll try to do a bit on the side so you can see a bit better. So, um, I just try to be really gentle, like, I think that's key. Um, I've never killed a female stripping them. I just take my time. And then, so say you've been going for a second like that, just let the female go. There's no need to strip all at once. This is a pretty young Nikali girl. I don't think I'm going to get a huge batch out of it anyway. And then you can actually have a look. See there's an egg right there. The Nakali are quite a tough one to strip, I find. Just let her go for a sec. She's actually quite a nice girl. If you look, she's got a bit, little bit of black colouring through her fins. Um, most of the girls I've got are just plain white. So I'm just going to have a look here. Looks like I've got all the eggs out of her. She's a really nice fish. Okay, so here we have a Demosoni. Um, these are one of my favourites out of my fish. Not because they're rare or expensive, simply because I've selectively bred these guys and I'm really happy with the quality they're pushing out now. I haven't sold any Demosoni as of yet. I have literally just been breeding them and keeping the fry. I'm getting to the stage now where my colony is at the size that I want. And the quality that I want that I can start selling them. Look, in the ca look at this girl. She is amazing. Most Demosoni I've seen around, the females are pale and the males are dark, but my girls are insane quality if you ask me. I might be a bit biased on that, but that's just my thought. Here we have a uh, Hongi. Another quite common fish, but another one that I think that quality is few and far between. That's what I, I kind of try to make my fish room about um, common African cichlids but trying to breed the best of the common that I can. Oh, now my lights just turned off. Uh, there's another good hole. So it's another Hongi cichlid. Um, good looking fish. This girl's got a bit of size on her. Should get a pretty good yield from her. Oh, they're free swimmers too, that's good. That's what you want. A 
and then just checking. She's got no more. I can't stress enough, guys. When you're stripping, gentle. Take your time. There's no rush. And here's Hongi number three. I think she's probably the nicest out of the three that I've stripped. Um, there's a couple more holding in there, but I think I'm going to leave it at three. Got another batch of free swimmers here. Generally, rule of thumb, if I'm stripping a group and there's a lot holding, I'll only strip the three which look like they've been holding the longest. Um, I just can't justify stripping any more than that, like fry space, how fast I can sell the fish, etc, etc. Three is my happy number at the moment. Here we have a, a Lunacara Benga. Obviously, you can't really tell what it is from the female. And now we have a black hook because that is how often I lose these things. Um, I've got rolls of the tie wire here simply for that fact. And I don't know where the red roll went either, so it's not a red one. So there's a dragon blood cichlid. Obviously, also a female, so these guys don't show much colour. I've actually had a bit of trouble breeding these guys. I'm not sure why. But, um, it's only this one female that's breeding for me, and the group. There's like 10 fish, and you can see the size of her. It's not like they're young fish either, so I don't know what's going on there. I've, I've definitely not got too many males, so who knows? Now I've got an electric yellow cichlid, guys. Um, she's quite a nice fish. These guys are quite young, I've only stripped one so far. So what I do with young fish, I actually let them hold full term a couple of times, let them spit in the tank. I usually don't really get any survivors, but I find letting them spit in the tank and like learning how to be a mother, it really makes them for better breeders in the future. Try to get that in the camera. So you can see right in there pretty easily. See there's no, none left in there. Okay guys, so this is the last fish I'm gonna to strip today. If I can catch it. It's a marble peacock. Um, she just lost all of her color when I stressed her out, so it's a bit hard to see what she actually looks like. Another batch of free swimmers, which is good. So we'll put her back. Okay guys, so egg tumblers are all set up. Um, we've got fry savers going. Uh, I can't stress enough my number one rule 
label your tanks. If you're breeding, everything labeled, every single thing labeled. Um, it's just not worth it getting stuff mixed up. So guys, one thing before you go, um, this is what I'm filming on. Uh, it's actually a laser level tripod. I just made up this little bracket and it actually holds my phone and sits in there like so. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm a bit worried that this video is going to be a bit boring, uh, like sort of a scroll through video. Um, if you do think it's boring, let me know. I'll um, try either not do it again or maybe make it a bit more brief, maybe some hyperlapse. I'm not sure. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you did like it. And um, have a good day.